Let's uh, return to the story about UKIP being investigated by the European Parliament for misspending its funds. William Dartmouth, a UKIP MEP and a member of the Alliance for Direct Democracy in Europe, joins me now from Brussels. A very good evening to good you. Evening. And, good, uh, evening. Good, good evening. evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening. And as you and others um, point out, the Conservatives, for instance, are being investigated for overspending during the 2015 election. Do you feel then that uh, the European Parliament is indulging in something of a witch hunt? Well, 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 I would point out that the Conservatives are being investigated by the Electoral Commission and also the police. And this is very, very different. But may I just correct, and I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to come on your programme, because I want to correct what's been said so far, which is entirely misleading and indeed untrue. UKIP never received any money, UKIP never spent any money, and UKIP has never misspent any money. The money is entirely money that was spent by a pan-European political party called the Alliance for Direct Democracy in Europe, of which UKIP is a part. There are politicians from 11 countries in there. Only one of them is, only one of them is the UK. So your headline and your news and your breaking news and what are the, all our many enemies in the media are writing up, the correct headline should have been pan-European political party in... Uh, um, uh, the, Pan-European polit political party, ADDD's expenditure, uh, is not entirely agreed by internal auditors acting for the European Parliament. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Certainly not, worth but, leading, okay. certainly, not, so, certainly not worth leading a 7pm 7, 7 bulletin with, by the all way. Right. Unless you, you have it in for us, which I think you do. Well, you would accept that UKIP make up uh, roughly half of the membership of the ADDE no, and that no, no, uh, 380,000 was no, allocated no, 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 to UKIP no, no. and that no, there was no, UKIP I, I that spent the money in the, in the UK. No, UKIP never spent the money. UKIP never spent the money. The registered, uh, the, the Alliance for D D Direct Democracy in Europe, which is a registered pan-European political party, which had to go through a registration process in order to be, to, to be accepted and recognised, they were the people that spent the money. UKIP never spent the money. It's just so completely not members untrue. members of UKIP, then? And by, so, by so the, the way... the people who spent what? the money in the UK, what, what party were they members of, the people who spent the money in the UK? Just, just, just clear it up for us. They, they were the they were the alliance they, they were the alliance for d direct democracy in Europe, or they were or, or they were people or they were pollsters and distinguished media people like yourself who the who were you know instructed by the a, by the ADDE. I mean, That's I mean, I don't want to be I don't want yeah, to be in to do with you, Kit. But a bit, what? And nothing therefore oh, to do with you, Kit. I no, don't no, know no, that. nothing directly, indirectly, indirectly, and as I pointed out earlier, uh, the, the, uh, the Alliance for Direct Democracy in Europe is a registered political party composed of politicians from 11 different European countries, of which the UK is one. Right. And so let so me get this clear. We're just, 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 parts, just for yeah. the British audience, because I don't think anyone in the UK has actually heard of this uh, Alliance uh, for Democracy in whatever it is in, in oh, Europe. Well, you ought so to, so you ought were they to, standing you, in the you general election? You, you ought, you, ought to cover the, you ought to cover the EU a little bit more then, perhaps, actually, because it's rather important. We think it's too important in British political life. But if you covered it a little bit more, that you, you, would, you would be aware that, that, the, that, 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 uh, that uh, all the political parties represented in the European Parliament, including the Conservatives, including the Labour Party, of which Mr Kinnock was, is not a very distinguished member of, by the way, uh, including, uh, um, um, including the uh, Lib Liberal Democrats, are all are all part of pan-European political parties which make them, which make them eligible for, for funding uh, for, 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 uh, for political purposes. And in this particular case, the internal auditors acting for the European Parliament, but they're internal, they're not external, disagree with some of the expenditure. Now, as Nigel has pointed out, is that, of course, the president of the European Parliament, Mr Schultz, is not exactly on our side. In fact, he's doing everything he can to frustrate Brexit and the Brexit case. And so, therefore, he's leaked this to, uh, to, to uh, Sky News. Right. And as somebody who, right, who's an elected point. MEP, I've never seen this report. I can't get hold of it. I've tried right. to today. Well, we'll hear more about that on Monday. Let me just lastly put you to, the, to you the overall point, though, about UKIP's attitude to taking money from the European Parliament in terms of your salaries, your generous allowances, your pensions, your severance payments and whatever... Nigel Farage has said, hasn't he, and we all know this, UKIP used the money and wherewithal provided by the EU to fight against 
Britain's membership of the EU. There is an argument, given that this is taxpayers' money, for you now to, to pack up and leave now that we have left yes. or are about to leave the EU. No, but I'll tell you what, no for two reasons. First of all, I wonder why you and your colleagues never make this point to Scottish nationalists, uh, uh, to, to the Scottish nationalists. There's 54 Scottish nationalist MPs at Westminster who, who, who have exactly the same point of view. They lost their and referendum, if you didn't notice. Unfortunately, well, they're still, they're, they're still plugging the same line. And, and they lost their referendum. We won ours. And unfortunately, and very unfortunately, until the moment that we leave, everybody in the UK, including the people I have the honour to represent, are... are is are fully bound by all the EU rules, laws and regulations. And it's important, it's incumbent on us to stand up for our constituents and do our best so long as that pertains. When we leave the EU, uh, when, when we leave the EU, and I wish it was sooner rather than later, of course we leave and that's when we leave. And will you take your severance payment? What, sorry? Will you take your 39,000? I'll have, it's, uh, I'll have to think about that, won't I? But I don't see why the proposition should be that it's all right for Stephen Kinnock, who you gave airtime on your programme, to, 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 to uh, get an EU pension. It's all right for Scottish nationalists and Welsh nationalists and Sinn Féin to get pensions, but it's not OK for, for actually UKIP MEPs. So I think it's, a, frankly, a bizarre point of view to put forward. It's a very, very feeble debating point and, frankly, not worthy of somebody of your very considerable intellect, for whom I have tremendous admiration, by the way. Well, a tremendous admiration for you. Thank you very much, Steve Lord Dartmouth, for coming to clear it all up. Thank you. I've tried. I've tried.